We are officially in Turks and Caicos. Also, I'm feeling much better today, so we're doing great. I'm feeling worse. <laughs> Jessie's super sunburnt, but she's wearing all of her clothes and uh, she's yeah. not gonna be uh, getting in the ocean and getting more sunburned, well, so. Well, I want to. She wants to, we'll see how this goes. I'm touching my toes in. Yeah. I'm getting in. Yeah, we don't really have a plan today either. We're just gonna walk around, you know, do some shopping. Yeah. Just look around Grand Turks. We get the beaches, you know, so we're gonna dive right in. We're gonna go deep. Welcome to... We're inside the shops now. We need to find a good souvenir for everyone. We need to find a souvenir for Jesse's parents, my parents, Rolando, Courtney, Jesse's sister, and Ari, Jesse's friend, our friend. Um, yeah, we have a lot of shopping to do today. We should just get him a bunch of seashells. Yeah. Yeah. So, Jesse and I decided to get on a little tour. It's actually a taxi, but it turned into an island tour. And uh, now we are, we are on the other side of the island. There's the lighthouse. We're on the complete other side. What did he say? He said it like five times. He said that the... the 1.5 square miles. Uh, wide. And, and then, then seven, seven miles in like... Yeah. Length. Also, look at this. Look at this. Are you gonna go over? Huh? You gonna go over and touch them? No. Why? Come on. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. We just got some pictures. Look at this. This is. They're so friendly. Hi. They used to ride them, but then they let them all go. Oh yeah, he said that this used to be their main transportation not too long ago, and now, now they just roam around. <laughs> they just walk all over the place. <laughs> Fortunately, it's uh, locked up, but it's still cool to see. And here we are at the edge of the island. Uh, our guy said that it's 85 foot drop. You can't really tell on camera, but dang, look at that view. What the heck? Look at you, pro vlogger. Yeah. Pro vlogger. We took a stop here in downtown Turks and Caicos. Um, Jesse and I found a little beach. We took some pics. Oh yeah, this view is nuts. You know, this uh, one of the people who worked here or in uh, yesterday in Half Moon Cay. She was like, H "Are you having a good time?" And I was like, "Yeah, the water's insane." And she was like. I don't get all y'all's obsession with the water. <laughs> she doesn't get it how like this water is so clear and beautiful and like where we're from, Arizona, you know, we take a trip to California and the water does not look like this. <laughs> the water's dirty and you just can't, it's not, you can't see the bottom of the ocean floor like you can here, it's nuts. I'll check on them, see where they are. Yeah, we trying to find All right, headed out of here now. And right before we were about to leave, we saw a little souvenir shop and I got Kaylin's gift checked off. Mm -hmm. My sister. There she you go. She texted me and so I delivered. <laughs> yep. She was like telling Jesse, make sure to get me a gift from the Bahamas. <laughs> it's already too late when she texted us that, so we got her a gift from Turks and Caicos. Still on the Caribbean, so. Nice. There you go, Kaylin. That's yours.
We're back now where all the cruise people are. Temperature. Hot. <coughs> I got that. Bless you. We found a nice little cozy spot over here underneath this palm tree. We got a little smoothie. The boat right over there. I think there's some beaches and restaurants over there. Yeah, this is super chill. They really do take you to the best part of the island. The rest of the island seems... Um... What? I loved it. No, no, it was beautiful. But like, no one can break a 20. <laughs> you know? So it's just like a bunch of local businesses and stuff. Like we were in downtown and they couldn't break a 20. So it just kind of made you realize, I mean, they all live on an island, it's very secluded. I wonder how they get their cars. Where do you think their cars come from? They didn't, I didn't see a dealership anywhere. Well, I'm sure they were just shipped over and like they, they have like cars here. And then... Maybe they build them. They just sell them around. I think they said there's 4,780. People on this island? That's the population? 4,780? Seven, I'm not sure, sure. I know it ended in 80. Jello shot. Oh, okay. Yeah. What? Are you not good? That's not a I don't know how. Yeah. <laughs> you want to get another one and show me? Mmm. <laughs> All, All right, guys, we're officially leaving Grand Turks, Turks and Caicos. Sad time. We, uh, this is the last time that we get to walk on land before we hit Miami. Oh, yeah. Full day on the cruise tomorrow. Oh, man. Miami. Oh, no. Bye, Turks and Caicos. We decided that there wasn't any cool souvenirs for all of our friends and family, so we just found a bunch of shells to give to them. Yeah. <laughs> Still a cool souvenir. Grand Turks and Caicos shells. What, what can anyone else ask for? <laughs> Thank you. Back on the boat now. And let's see what... Oh, look at that. Our stewardess left another animal towel. It's an elephant. Beautiful. Well done. Well done, Mr. Stewart. His name's Noel. Well done, Noel. Well done. Bye, Turks and Caicos. Bye, baby. Bye. I love you. My best friend. <laughs> oh, yeah, this boat has a channel where it shows the front cam of the boat. So we're able to see like what island we're about to come to or you could just see the whole time what you're about to run into, you know, like an iceberg or something. So they should have had these in the Titanic. It would have prevented so much lives being lost. <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> On the reel though, love the front facing cam as a channel. Awesome. Jesse's not doing so hot. It's time for dinner. Hopefully this will make her feel better. Poor baby. Oh yeah. This is piquetta pasta with a bunch of different um, seafood. Calamari, scallops, mussels. Cream because it's gonna make me explode. But it's okay. 